Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. I can't wait. What time's the sun going to be up? We need to know. <laughs> and More out from sun. behind the clouds. <laughs> More sun by 9 a.m., a whole lot of sun by noon. Ooh, I love that. That is a perfect forecast. Nice. We need a good, you know, awesome. it's time for a really nice weekend. So, yeah. Sunshine. Now we have it. Yeah. Gonna enjoy it. <laughs> Your <laughs> I Dream of Genie wish just came true. You get a perfect weekend. <laughs> I'm glad because that, that, the, the bewitched twinkle knows yeah. I can't do that. I, I never I do that. <laughs> I chose Jeannie because I really can't do the nose thing. <laughs> well, it's a whole lot of cloud cover this morning, but then if you rub your uh, magic jar and then you see Jeannie later on today, she's going to bring a whole lot of sunshine. 51 degrees in Athens this morning, 50 in Coleman, up to 52 in Scottsboro. We're mild today thanks to all the cloud cover that we're seeing overhead. All you need is just a light jacket as you head out the door. You can leave the gloves and the umbrella at home. Now, 616 on 31 triple Doppler, and I should put a little stipulation on that. One or two drizzles are in northeastern Jackson County. However, the vast majority of us are dry. We will remain dry through the rest of the day, and the one or two of you that has a little bit of mist in Jackson County, that'll be gone within the next 30 to 45 minutes, and then it's dry conditions for all. Now, we'll keep the cloud cover this morning and through breakfast time. By the time we get to 9 a.m., temperatures are in the mid-50s. We'll start to see more sunshine at that point, and then we'll warm up a whole lot faster. By the time we head to later this afternoon and you're grabbing the little ones from off the bus to head back home and ring in the weekend, it'll be a beautiful day. We'll have more sunshine at that point and temperatures will be in the mid 60s. I want, want to go ahead and tell you though, we will be windy. Not quite as windy as we were yesterday, but awfully close. Either way, it'll still be the perfect day to spend an extra long time walking in from the bus stop to take the dog on a walk or do anything you can to soak in all the sunshine. Now tomorrow morning, oh, it's my favorite time of the week, that first Saturday morning cup of coffee that just tastes so much better than it does during the work week. If you're planning on having that out on your back porch tomorrow morning, plan on having a blanket with you as well. We'll have a whole lot of sunshine, but temperatures will be cold and in the low 40s, so you'll want to bundle up. By the time we head to the afternoon, we're pleasant, but a whole lot cooler than we were today by about 10 degrees or so. Your Saturday high temperature sitting in the upper 50s, and we'll have a mix of clouds and sunshine but that gusty breeze, that's sticking around with us all throughout the day today and even into tomorrow. If you're planning on dining outside on Saturday lunchtime, that's the better time to do it. I'm only giving us one star for an outdoor breakfast because our wake-up temperature will be frigid and in the mid-30s. By the time we head to later in the afternoon, though, it's a full five stars on the menu. We're talking about a whole lot of sunshine and temperatures sitting in the upper 60s on your Sunday afternoon. So whether you like a more wintry spring or a more summery spring, this weekend has something for everyone. Now, if you remember yesterday, I told you to check back in with me today because I would have the new radar update. I told you that I was monitoring a system coming next Wednesday and I would let you know if it was going to be severe. Well, here we are delivering on the promise. This just came in overnight last night and it's the severe weather outlook for next Wednesday's system. Now it's still much too early to say what level of severe weather we'll have, whether that be level one, two, three, four, or five. But this is simply showing that the Storm Prediction Center says some severe weather is likely. Now you don't need to be concerned. You don't need to be worried. This is system is not coming until next Wednesday and we are already all over it and we're going to make sure you have all the information you need to plan ahead and stay safe. What I do need you to do though is check back in with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle tonight and then me first thing Monday morning so you continue to get the most updated radar outlooks as we approach this system. Even though we're going to be windy and we'll have a little bit of change in the temperatures, soak up this weekend sunshine while you can because by next week it's rain, rain and more rain.